So today's video is going to be my clear cube because I get so many questions and requests about it. I just thought I would share with you guys kind of what I store in it and how I store it because that seems to be what you guys are most interested in. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned. So I hope this isn't casting too much of a shadow. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you can tell I'm really nasally. I'm sick. I am. This is like my third or fourth cup of tea with lots and lots of honey. But I still wanted to shoot this for you. So on top of my clear cube, I keep all of my perfumes. I don't have that big of a collection, um, but I am starting to get into them. Sorry, I'm going to try not to be shaky. And yes, if you can see my reflection, I am wearing <laughs> my Hello Kitty robe, but I'm really not feeling too good. So anyway, uh, we'll start with the perfumes. I have my Marc Jacobs oh so Daisy Oh So Fresh uh, Burberry Brit. I love this perfume. This is um, this was actually one of my first like perfumes I ever got. Love that. This is my I would say my signature scent. I also love my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This smells amazing. Terry Mugler. Actually, I lied. Terry Mugler was my per first perfume. I got this when I was in, I think, 8th grade. Not this particular bottle, but I started wearing Terry Mugler in, like, 8th grade. Um, I love Terry Mugler. And then this is the Terry Mugler Angel for the Summer. And this smells really good too. That's why it's a lighter bottle. Um, back here is my Vera Wang Rock Princess. I don't believe they make this anymore, but I could be wrong. I know I can't find it at Ulta. This is my Dior Miss Sherry. It smells amazing. I got this one for Christmas. It's the Harajuku Lovers, and this one's called Jingle G. And it smells really good. I like it. This is my first Harajuku one. Um, of course, you guys know I love my Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb. I have this one and then um, the one I got for Christmas, which is the little, like, oil. Not oil. It's still a per perfume. It's still the perfume, but it's a loose perfume. It doesn't have an atomizer on top. Another little sample of Dior Addict, and this is the Dior Addict Shine, the original. And Gucci too. And I love this. I actually got this on the recommendation of Makeup by Tiffany D. She loves this perfume. She talks about it a lot. So I picked that up and it smells amazing. So like I said, on top I keep all my perfumes. The first drawer of my Clear Cube, I did get the X Divider. And if you watch my Clear Cube video, which was actually my first YouTube video, you'll see this empty. And I'll link that in the down bar if you really want to see it. But this is where I keep all my eyeshadows and my pencils, my primers. These are all loose, like pigment type of eyeshadows. So I keep my Bare Essentials, MAC pigments. Um, this here, I'm not going to go through my whole collection because I will do a collection video. I just wanted to go over it. These are broken MAC eyeshadows. So like on the bottom is Woodwinked, the middle one is Goldmine, and then the top one is Bronze. And they broke, but I got this at MAC and I just actually took what was left over and put them in these and then just made my own form of pigment out of them. And I really like it. So then I don't waste my eyeshadow. Um, and then I just have some like pigment samples and stuff like that. So on this side is all of my loose form eyeshadows that I don't have like in a palette or anything like that. So they're all still in the pots. I have Benefit, some um, um, Wet n Wild, mostly MAC. This one's Laura Mercier. So all of my potted eyeshadow here and then back here are all of my like pencils and then like my shade sticks, my grease sticks or grease paint sticks, whatever they're called. Um, but yeah, mainly like liners and stuff back here. And then all of these are like primers and eyeshadow bases. So like Stila, there's MAC, Benefits. I have some little Stila ones over here, Tarte. And then I really like this one. Um, it's gonna, not going to zoom. Oh, it did. Um, it's Bare Essential, Bare Minerals Prime Time in the color Gunmetal, and it's eyeshadow primer. Amazing color. Love it. Okay, so that's all for that drawer. Let's get everything to go back in. Next drawer is all of my, like, blushes and my MSFs. So this is a very colorful drawer. And then I have, like, my... 
um, Coralista from Benefit, like I said, pressed um, beauty powders, MSFs, blush, mineral blush, and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's that drawer. This is my lip drawer, and this is the 8 divider. So there's 8 different compartments here. And then I just have my, let's see, I have lipstick here and here. My lip gloss, these are all like the special limited edition ones. Um, so they're all here. Then these are just more that I use. Um, just random ones back here. And then so on and so forth. So that's my lip drawer. This one is my face drawer. So I have all my foundations here. Prime, or not primers, what am I talking about? <laughs> Concealers, all that good stuff. I do have some primer samples in here. Uh, my primer actually is on my makeup counter right now, not in here. Sonia Kashuk, Kabuki brush, extra pressed powder, just some little containers. I don't know what for, but they felt like they should go in here. Another primer. This is a cream bronzer from MAC, and then this is another Too Faced bronzer. I have my Hula from Benefit. This is a little like skin fusion under eye powder. Concealer. All that good stuff. I think I want to get a divider for this drawer, but I'm not sure. And then last but not least is the bottom drawer. And this drawer is like full of all my palettes. I'm actually going to pull this one all the way out and set it on my desk. Okay, so this is the bottom drawer, and it's the heaviest drawer, obviously, because it has all my palettes in it, so that's why I took it out so I could show you guys better. Um, okay, so I have all of my, like, MAC eyeshadow palettes here, and you can see them are all stacked up on the side. Just Bare Essentials, Too Faced, I think, yeah, another Urban Decay under there. These are, like, my MAC quads that I have. Of course, my Naked 2 and my Naked, my MAC Blush Palette. Um, this one is a Taria Tarantino Eyeshadow Palette. Some Too Faced little dual eyeshadows. Um, this one I got for Christmas in my stocking. It's from Lorac, and it's a cute little quad. My Chanel Quad, another MAC Quad. And yeah, so that's in that drawer. And the reason I have it stacked like this, I really want to reorganize it. I want to take all of these palettes, the MAC palettes, out and put them, like a lot of people have them, in the paper dividers. But I haven't found, like, cute ones that I like yet. Like, I'm really picky. So let's try to put this back in here. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm talented. So that's my clear cube. Let me move my tea out of the way, and I'll just show you everything else on this little table. Um, this little cube I got from Home Goods, and I found it in the bathroom section. It was like three or four dollars. I just keep Q-tips and like cotton pads in there for makeup removal. These containers back here are just glass containers that I got at Marshalls or maybe even Michaels, or not Marshalls, I got um, at Joanne Fabrics or Michaels, and then I just covered them with fabric that I got at Joanne Fabric. I'm really into the Damask print, and they were originally supposed to be brush holders. I have the, like, um, Beanie Baby fill in there. Not anymore, but I have the fill for them, but... Salem likes to eat makeup brushes, so I can't really display them. Um, and the reason they're not in here is because they're in my vanity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I do intend to film a makeup collection, but there are just a few things that I want to change maybe about how I store them. Just some things before I go about and film a whole makeup collection. That'll be pretty long. And like I said, this isn't even my full collection. This is just what I store in my clear cube. My everyday makeup, I do keep over here in these two drawers. And then like some scattered throughout the table. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye. But this are broken. They're... Blah, 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 blah. I swear in every video someone's going to call. Hey, babe.